Hey there. That's right guys, it's a double down episode today with both minimum ambient lighting and surface lights on deck. So far in the series we've looked at one sound mod for immersion and three mods which help you deal with early game science and funds grind. Today I wanted to tackle another stock issue and that's lighting. In vanilla KSP, when you're orbiting on the dark side of planets, it's often so dark that it's hard to even see your rocket, much less try to do maneuvers such as docking. Well why not just add lights? Simple right? Not really, because the two stock spotlights in KSP, while functional, are both aerodynamically and aesthetically clumsy. Today's mods are going to fix all this though, because minimum ambient lighting gives you custom control of the ambient light in game, and surface lights gives you some additional options for lighting up your vehicle in style. So let's get started as we always do by installing the mods with Secan. Okay with Secan opened up we should be able to locate both of our mods today by uh, filtering on light and what we're looking for is a minimum ambient lighting and surface lights. There they both are. So let us quickly check the relationships just to make sure there's no conflicts listed dependencies for each of these mods. No, looks like they're both uh, very straightforward. So let's go ahead and install. Clear our filter. And there we have surface lights and a minimum ambient lighting. We're, uh, we're good to go. Let's check it out in game. As we start here in the space center, you'll notice a new icon. It is the minimum ambient lighting icon. And when you select it, you can see a very simple interface. It has the default setting of 20%. It also has uh, options where you can deactivate this icon in flight mode, uh, which we'll probably do once we get a setting that we're comfortable with just to avoid clutter in the flight mode toolbar. And it allows you to save a new default. So if you were to move this slider uh, and then hit set default that would create a new default and then anytime you hit reset after that we'll take it back to that default setting so very straightforward interface here for adjusting the ambient lighting we'll look at that in flight mode in a minute but for now let's go into the VAB and have a look at surface lights okay let's create a simple little vehicle let's use the command pod maybe a hitchhiker there we go it's just something to mount the lights on to, sh to show them off here so in the utilities tab we're actually there right now you can see the three new lights added by the surface lights mod so there's the four-way spotlight there's the omni light and there's the surface mounted spotlight so let's start with the surface mounted spotlight so put that on our vehicle here and when you right click it the first thing you'll notice is it has RGB settings so you can change this light to all the different colors just based on the RGB settings so that's a very nice feature you can only do this in the VAB though or space plane hangar this can't be done once you're in flight mode so make sure you set the lights to the color that you want here in the editor the second light is the Omni light and this is really the light I use the most often on my vessels um, it's, an, it's a nice little area effect light uh, nice and bright and uh, it looks it looks good especially in four-way symmetry around a, around a large fuel tank or a hitchhiker like this uh, it looks quite nice lastly there's the four-way spotlight and let's uh, mount this and show you what this one's about so this is a light that I don't use a lot and I'll tell you why uh, this light is actually four lights built into one and so the game renders this as four separate lights and as I'm sure most of you know uh, light sources can be an issue in KSP if you use too many you can actually have rendering issues if you don't have uh, enough pixel light count to support the lights that you have in the scene and conversely if you move the pixel light count up too high then you're gonna get into performance issues so for me I just avoid uh, I avoid the four-way spotlight uh, just for that reason just to make sure I keep my light count down to something sensible 
All right, well, we already have a, a vehicle in orbit that has some of these lights on it. So, uh, so let's go see what that looks like. Okay, before we go to the tracking station, let's just turn our ambient light level down to stock. And, uh, and let's go into the tracking station. Okay, let's select our vehicle already in orbit. And so here you can see quite a dark scene. We have our, our orbiting vehicle. There's Kerbin in the background. Um, very dark, obviously, not just the backside of the planet, but, uh, but the ship itself. You can see some details as you, as you scroll in and mouse over the different parts, but in general, uh, difficult, difficult visually to see. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the lights that I've added to this ship uh, using Surface Lights mod. So, you know, adds a nice visual aesthetic to, to the vessel to have those lights. But in addition, it does create some, some sort of spread out ambient light around the ship. If you notice in particular this core area, uh, it's, it's catching a little bit of light splash from those lights that's not there in the, in the ambient light. Now, still quite dark though. Uh, again, the, the ship looks a little nicer. It, uh, it does create some, some ambient light, but really it's still a very dark scene. Uh, you, you can't see a great deal in, in this scene. So let's go back to minimum ambient lighting and set it to its default setting of 20%. And there you go. Right away you notice uh, the ship is brighter. Even the planet Kerbin is, is a lot brighter. The ambient light in this whole scene has been restricted to not go below the 20% threshold. And this is kind of, you know, where I would play the game at. Maybe even a little bit lower. I mean, you can turn it up to ridiculous settings, but but I would play it at the at the stock or sorry at the default uh, level or even a little bit less. Something like that, I think, is quite comfortable. And yet, you still get the sense that you're out of the direct sunlight. You're behind the planet. All right, guys. Well, there's not a lot more to talk about here. Both these mods do exactly what they say they do. No fuss, no muss. I think we've shown how to use them to address the overly dark stock lighting and hopefully how to make your ships look a bit better in the process. Obviously I recommend downloading both these mods for your game. So enjoy your new and improved KSP night vision and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.